Welcome to AirTech Environmental Systems 7000. The 7000 is a wastewater system designed to 1600 litres or 6 people per day. We do a site evaluation with the customer, working out where the best location is for the system and where the drip line should go. We liaise with the digger operator, showing them where the hazards are and where the AirTech has to go. We clearly mark out the site so he knows the best location for his digger to be operated from. We spray paint an outline of the shape of the tank so it can be clearly seen from the digger's point of view. As the digger operator cleans the site, he will separate the good soil from the bad soil. He'll be using the good soil back in the hole again when he's backfilling the air tech. This process can take up to about two hours to dig the hole. Keeping the operator informed of the elevations the whole time will make his job a lot easier. Double checking measurements the whole time. Making sure the hole is at the right depth is very important. While he is digging, we'll go over the system with the homeowner. The homeowner needs a good understanding of the tank and its locations. As the hole comes to completion, we go into the hole and set some site levels, making sure the base is level and is ready for its 100mm shingle chip base. Setting some pegs in the hole can help us with our levels. The digger operator then levels out some shingle in the base of the hole. Approximately 100 mils depending on the elevation height. We check the elevation height from the shingle base to the incoming pipe to make sure it matches the air tech's inlet. We then check our levels on the base and just give it the final touch up with a rake. The better the base is, the easier it is to level the tank when it comes into the hole. We unload the air tech from the trailer. It comes with a lifting bar and strops. This is to keep the tank rigid while we transport it from the trailer back into the hole. It does not need a lot of persuasion to sit into the right location. It is a very lightweight tank weighing up to 600 kgs. We unscrew the invert lids to check the levels. We check the levels in both directions and if it needs slight adjustment this is the time to do it. When the operator comes to fill the hole in you'll see that he's filling from multiple sides so it locates the tank squarely and firmly in one position. We can see the soil structure of this hole which initially we used for the site evaluation. We're now putting the seismic strapping on. These were designed for high water tables. We locate it over the centre of the tank and then it is ready for the operator to backfill the shingle. As you can see, the operator is pouring the shingle down the centre slot first. This will locate the tanks squarely and now he's just going around clockwise and filling the hole in evenly all the way around. He will fill these up to a moulding mark on the side of the tank. 
and then it will be ready for the backfilling of the good soil product. This is the moulding mark, where the shingle piece should be filled up to. We run the power cable and safety tape to the AirTech, ready for connection. We then use the good soil back around the hole. Again, we will be filling around evenly around the hole, so there is no compaction issues. This is the Micron box, which is the heart and brains of the AirTech 7000. The circuit board, the fusing, transformer, a backup battery and a reset button. The digger operator is coming close to backfilling the hole and levelling it out. When it is complete we will check the components making sure there is no silt or shingle in the system. making sure that the media is located correctly and the pump has not moved. While we're doing that, the operator will dig the lateral pipes out to the designed irrigation field. All components come in the blower box, valve boxes, fittings, a bottle of Biozyme. Biozyme is a kickstart agent which will help the tank Start away. It comes with a homeowner's manual with wiring diagrams, completion certificates and warranty cards that will be filled out by yourself and the installer. We now run out the 25mm LD from the ATEC 7000 to the designed irrigation field. We then run out the LD pipe, which is connected to the drip line. The drip line will be put onto the mole plough, and then the tractor will drag it in. The digger operator is now backfilling all trenches and tidying the site up. The customer now has a complete AirTech 7000. Thank you very much for watching.